name is Desiree Patrick, and this is a recap of Harnett County Board of Commissioners meeting for August 21st, 2023. The meeting began with the board approving the following action items. The minutes for the regular meeting on August 7th and work session meeting on August 15th. Adopt a resolution requesting the North Carolina Department of Transportation to add several roads to the secondary road system. Adopt a resolution supporting the North Carolina Department of Transportation development of a project to signalize the intersection of Rawls Church Road and Highway 401. General Services and Harnett Area Transit System Hearts request the board to consider and approve the North Carolina Department of Transportation Fiscal Year 2024 5311 Capital Grant Agreement and Fiscal Year 2024 5311 Administrative Grant Agreement. Harnett Regional Water requests approval of multiple services contracts for fiscal year 2024. Harnett Regional Water requests approval of write-offs for the first half, two quarters of 2022. The Harnett County Public Library requests permission to apply for and if awarded, receive annual state aid from the North Carolina Department of Cultural Resources, the State Library. Solid Waste requests approval of a contract amendment with Smith Gardner Incorporated. The contract amendment, if approved, will extend the contract for one year. Parks and Recreation requests approval of the Nearest Creek Park Development Project Ordinance. Parks and Recreation also requests approval of a contract with Withers Revenel for professional landscaping, architectural services. Administration requests the board to approve the selection of Mosley Architects for Department of Social Services UPFIT. Finance requests the board to adopt a resolution authorizing investment in, of idle funds with NC class. Emergency services is requesting the approval of fireworks application from Pyro East Coast Incorporated for Campbell University's football season fireworks display. Administration requests the board to approve an amendment to the comprehensive land use contract to include retail strategies. The board then opened public comment and seven citizens provided remarks. Sand Hills Antique Farm Equipment Club presented their annual report. A public hearing was held regarding a zoning change from RA30 to commercial zoning in Upper Little River Township. This was approved. A public hearing was held regarding a zoning change from RA30 to RA20R in Upper Little River Township. Six individuals provided remarks. This was approved. A public hearing was held on the proposed text amendment from Harnett County Development Services regarding case number plan 2307-0004 to amend UDO use regulation section. This was approved. We then discussed the request regarding the selection of the GEAR Group as part-time temporary staffing agency to provide payroll services for part-time seasonal election workers for the county. This was tabled. Also, a discussion was held to increase the signature authority for the county manager. This was approved. A discussion for the appointment of voting and ex-official members to the I-95, I-40 Crossroads of America Economic Development Alliance Board of Directors. The board approved the recommendation of Jerry Milton from the Alliance and recommended Ricky Day and Commissioner Morris as ex-official members. This was approved. 
During the county manager's report, the budget amendments were approved. For new business, the drawdown for $9 million from the needs-based public school capital fund of the North Carolina Education Lottery was approved. To watch the full meeting, visit www.harnet.org slash BOC. The next work session meeting will take place on Tuesday, August 29th at 9 a.m. And our next board meeting will be held September 5th at 9 a.m. Please visit our website or follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or next door to stay up to date on all things happening in Harnett County. I hope you have a wonderful week. Thank you.